Hey, beautiful geniuses. My name is Bobby Spellman, and I would like to welcome you to the very first episode in my new educational series. I've been teaching private trumpet lessons for over 16 years, and I've found that there are a couple of mistakes that just about everybody makes when starting out on trumpet that can hold you back from producing a beautiful tone or achieving all of your musical dreams. It may take some people months or even years to correct these mistakes, but I've found that with a couple of tips and tricks, you could be a better trumpet player right away. I shouldn't even be giving this knowledge away for free. It's outrageous. Tip number one, don't over buzz. When we first learn to play the trumpet, the first big revelation is that the sound of the instrument is coming from buzzing your lips into the mouthpiece. While this is certainly true, focusing too much on buzzing your lips into the mouthpiece can actually squash your tone and make your life even more difficult than it needs to be. Let me show you what I mean. When people start playing the trumpet, oftentimes the effort is put into tightening the lips in the mouthpiece to create the buzz. Now check this out. When I'm playing trumpet, my focus is on breathing freely through the mouthpiece and letting the mouthpiece and the resistance from the horn allow a natural buzz to occur rather than focusing on tightening my lips to create that buzz. In fact, when I'm playing just the mouthpiece, oftentimes I can start off with just this sound. And by adding the horn, the resistance of the horn is gonna cause my lips to naturally vibrate. By really focusing on letting your air do the work and breathing through the trumpet, you can create a much more full resonant sound than if you're over-focused on tightening your lips to buzz into the mouthpiece. Now all of this has to do with what we call our aperture. Now you might have heard of an aperture in a camera being the hole through which the light moves in order to capture an image. Similarly, we have an aperture in our embouchure, which is the space between our lips that the air can move to create a buzz and to create a tone. If your aperture is too small because you're over-tightening your lips to create the buzz, you'll find that you get a much more dull, rough, and small sound out of the instrument. On the other hand, if your aperture is too wide, you may get a more wide, unfocused, airy sound out of the instrument. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here, I'm gonna over-buzz to create a smaller aperture so you get a sense for what that sounds like on the trumpet. Alternatively, if I keep my lips too far open, I keep the aperture too far open, you're gonna notice I get a more unwieldy, kind of uh, airy, broad sound. The goal is to find the comfortable middle ground by staying relaxed and letting the air out of your lungs and not just focusing on buzzing into the mouthpiece, but really focus on blowing all the way through the instrument. This will enable your lips to find the center of the mouthpiece and you'll be able to stay relaxed while creating a more focused, beautiful, resonant tone on the instrument. Let me show you. So, as you're practicing, rather than thinking too much about tightening your lips to create a buzz in the mouthpiece, what you want to do is stay relaxed, let the air out of your face, and let your lips buzz naturally into the mouthpiece and through the horn. Very often I tell my students that you want to focus on not just blowing into the mouthpiece, but getting the air all the way through the horn and at the wall in front of you. As you stay relaxed and let your air do the work, you're going to find that your lips will naturally vibrate and you'll create a more full sound on the instrument and everything is going to be a little bit easier to play after that. <laughs> All right, once you get a handle on it, your life is going to be easier. It's going to be easier to play the trumpet. You're going to get a better tone. You're probably going to make some more friends, influence people. The sun will shine brighter. The, uh, you know, food will taste better. You get the deal. It's about playing the trumpet. It's a beautiful thing. You're undertaking a challenging task. However, uh, very often we just work too hard. We're just working too hard. So if you can really let your air do the work and try not to, Try not to tighten up too much or over buzz. You're going to find that everything becomes much easier. All right. Happy practicing, gang. We'll see you on the next one. Trumpet, 
All right, folks, thanks so much for checking out this video. If you found it useful or informative or just entertaining, be sure to give us a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment if you got any questions or if this video helped you out, or be sure to send it along to any of your trumpet playing friends. We're currently offering lessons online and you can visit our website at www.ridgewoodschoolofmusic.com. We're also offering lessons in person in the Brooklyn, Queens, and greater New York City area. Be sure to send us a message and we'll get back to you just as soon as we can. You can also follow me, Bobby Spellman, on Instagram at, at Bob Spellman, on Facebook at Bobby Spellman Music, or on Twitter at Bobby Spellman for some more trumpet fun. <laughs> Lastly, if you found this video useful and you'd like to give a little donation to the cause, you can find us on Venmo at Ridgewood Music. All tips will go to the creation of more videos like this one, and we really appreciate it. Thanks a lot, gang. We'll see you on the next one, and happy practicing.